Hello and welcome everybody back to the GGB Supplier Showcase Series. As always, I am your host, Jess Marquez, and I'm so pleased to be joined by a first-time guest, Joanna Cordero, Design Manager at Design Collective. Joanna, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you. Um, so, you know, Joanna, I always love this series. Uh, I always bring it up every time we have a, a new guest, a first time uh, guest on the show. But, you know, this series is designed primarily to give our uh, our listeners and our readers uh, a kind of a broader scope of the industry and kind of give them, uh, you know, expose them to companies and to people that they may not have uh, been in contact with previously. And this one is certainly that uh, for me. Uh, but I hope for our readers as well. Um, you know, you guys at Design Collective, uh, you know, you guys make a, make the industry look good, as it were. So I'm uh, I'm really excited to talk to you today and kind of get that uh, new perspective, like I said, from a new company that we have not worked with before. So thank you again for coming on. Thank you. Pleasure is ours. So let's if we kind of start there, um, you know, could you kind of give us a brief uh, kind of overview about Design Collective and kind of uh, fill us in for those of us who may not be as familiar with the company? Sure. Um, so we are fortunately industry leaders when it comes to uniforms, um, obviously creating the right apparel uh, for employees to feel great and in order for them to feel great, they work great, you know, then, and it just, it, it just helps our customers in their, in their image and their branding uh, images. And it just allows us to provide a solution for pretty much every need. You know, it's just not apparel. It's a one-stop shop for a lot of our customers. So oh, what, uh, how long, or I guess what, like how big of your guys' business is gaming? Because um, I, as I understand, I'm sure you guys probably work with a variety of industries and a variety of different businesses, but um, what, where does gaming lie in your guys' overall kind of portfolio? Um, well, it is, I mean, we take it, we take gaming, uh, I'd say it's, it's nationwide and even outside of the country um, as well. But um, it is it is a smaller portion of our of our business, but it is also it's just a very highlighted part of our business because we're so unique. Obviously, coming understanding that our business, a gaming business, it's it's unique, right? It's not um, it's not very cookie cutter. It's it's very much innovation. Um, it's image, and it's constantly turning in the gaming industry. You know, so even though we are very small and nimble in the grand scope of things, we are very unique in the image that we provide for our customers, um, you know, because everyone's trying to outdo everybody. Right. And we're trying to trying to stay on top of the trends. So it's, even though, again, we're, we're a smaller portion of the pie, um, we are the highlighted and uh, high image part of our portfolio brand. Definitely. And, you know. So I want to get into a little bit in terms of uh, your guys's process because you know every you know uh, partner with uh, within gaming you know has a critical role to play in terms of you know helping the industry move forward. But I think uniforms is an interesting kind of sector that maybe hasn't gotten you know doesn't really uh, come across on first glance. But obviously, in a lot of cases, that's the first uh, impression that you have of a gaming employee is you know their uniform and how they present themselves. Um, so what, walk me through kind of your guys's, you know, creative process, design process uh, when you partner with companies. It's great. It's a good, actually a really great question because it's, it's, it's a bit loaded of an answer. Um, you know, I guess it's understanding our customer, right? It's, it's the relationships that we build within um, is a great start. You know, it's understanding where they need to, um, where they need their image to be, you know, their brand standards. Um, who they're trying to target, um, what are their price points, what is their overall vision, color, palette, their feel, like it's it's just understanding them. Um, and I think a lot of that is the relationship that we have with our, um, we have obviously a, a lot of salespeople that are on um, around the nation catering to a lot of our customers. So it's understanding who that customer is. And then it's building that relationship. And then secondly, building a portfolio for them of a great and apparel uh, program, you know, and it's really just depends on the job function. And I, I and everybody has, I, I guess, a voice working with a lot of these uh, properties. There's within each property, there's different levels, there's different um, leaders that we work with and incorporating everyone's vision. Right. Because everyone has a different opinion. 
So it's gathering all of that information and creating a, a curated look or a brand within their standards and keeping them all involved and just keeping strong relationships within each portfolio. Certainly, def and you know, I think that kind of that kind of ties in directly into my next question, which is like, uh, in terms of capabilities, I mean, I would imagine that uh, it's a pretty big undertaking to kind of outfit, you know, an entire, basically an entire workforce. Um, so, you know, what is kind of the range uh, in terms of like the size and scope of the companies that you guys work with? I mean, are you outfitting like entire properties, entire companies? Uh, and also kind of the second part is like, um, the range of different, I would assume you have to kind of, uh, you know, offer a variety of different uniforms, obviously for various roles. So kind of like those two, um, capabilities kind of, uh, where you, where do you guys fall on that? Well, I'm, I'm very proud to say that we do, we do carry an array of styles in our wheelhouse that are ready to use and merchandise. So we, I mean, we have over 6,000 units and styles. I wouldn't say units, but styles that we can choose from a different array of colorways. You know, so each individual style can be modified within our capabilities to have a unique look. So you can leverage the amount of uh, looks per different job, job functions, because obviously they all have a different purpose, right? Because uniform everybody from the, who you see coming in through the property to the staff that you see behind the scene and that people don't even know about that even exists. So we have an array of styles that we carry on hand to create a unique look for each and every job function within property. Is there an average kind of, uh, I guess you would say life cycle, like what is there on average, how often companies are kind of, uh, you know, rebranding or recycling their, their uniform portfolios, uh, or is it kind of just depend on a lot of factors? There's a lot of factors, you know, there's some high image areas that the, you know, it's a yearly thing. And there's somewhere it's probably a decade thing, you know, so it really just depends on budgets. Um, it depends on the type of job function that they're looking to revamp. And, and it's really just understanding their their overall vision um, to create a sustainable look for the mileage that they want it to be in and how long they want to be in it for. Um, and then, like, like we mentioned, even the year of. Uh, turnarounds for some of those job functions is because it's a either a, lo a lounge a highlighted lounge or um it's, it's only going to be a, a pop-up area or, or restaurant that they want to test out so it's it's just understanding their overall goal and, and what is it that they want and how long they want it for sure sure and you know you mentioned you know uh, a couple of words you mentioned with budget and sustainability there um in terms of value or, you know, partnering with you guys specifically, kind of what is the, the value proposition there for companies uh, that are looking for for your guys' services? Uh, it's, I mean, we have casinos in the middle of nowhere, you know, and then we have the Strip who's, you know, it's the mecca of of the gaming industry. You know, it's it really depends on, on, on the company. It depends on the property. Um, and how much they are willing to spend, how much they're willing to take a gamble on certain things because of the image. So it, it really depends. Sure, I'm sure. And like, like, you know, you mentioned, I'm sure there's a, you know, um, the process of getting everyone outfitted uh, in a way that suits everybody, I'm sure is a is a lengthy process that requires a lot of collaboration and a lot of back and forth, especially, you know, as you grow the in terms of the size of the companies that you're working with, I'm sure it just gets exponentially more, uh, more complicated as it gets bigger. Um, one thing I kind of wanted to turn into, you know, your guys's current and, and future updates. Uh, I have a, you know, you have a litany of things that uh, are listed here in terms of, you know, upcoming or, or new and exciting. So uh, one of the first I wanted to start with was the kind of the, the fit for every size. Could, could you go into that a little bit? Absolutely. Um, we cater to every size. Um, and I think that's the beauty of what we do is that when we have these relationships and we're asking the right questions, who is the person who's wearing this? You know, you want them to feel confident. So you have to understand who they are, their age range, their um, what they're comfortable with, um, their their size, their, you know, what job function they're doing and incorporating all of those factors to give them the right product. And it comes in so many sizes. It comes in so many colorways. 
and understanding sometimes the color may not be suitable for the job function because you know they're they're constantly maybe getting soiled or um they're a, a high image job function the last thing you want them to be is is soiled in certain in certain fabrications so you got to understand what they're doing and you have to understand what what to promote and what to pitch for the right job function and image and and overall goal certainly and you know also in terms of of technology i mean obviously there's innovation in every industry but as it relates to you guys uh you know this replies to things like uh pattern pattern grading and stuff like that so kind of on the technical side what are you guys uh, working on in terms of the latest and greatest so we do have a uh, 3d technology that we're working on we have true fit we have an array of uh, technical designers behind the scenes within our corporation that do miracles. <laughs> and I say they, they do, they do wonderful things behind the scenes to make sure that each customer is satisfied with uh, the fit, because obviously that's, that's their employee who's behind it. So if they're happy, it's less complaints on, on, on the management standpoint. So everyone's happy, right? So, but we do have a 3D technology, we have sure fit, um and we and we also test with sustainable fabric so that's that goes hand in hand you know technology with you know uh, tried and true tested fabrications that go hand in hand together that we have a team that work together behind the scenes to make sure that it's the right product right fabric right fit for the garment So you mentioned sustainability there, and that's something that's interesting to me because I'm sure that's a huge part of your guys' overall business. You know, I hear a lot about, uh, you know, clothing production and, you know, the various terms like fast fashion and things like that. Um, so I'm sure that that's a big, you know, part of, of what you guys are, are focused on. So can you talk a little bit about those efforts? I guess. Um, so a lot of what we carry, obviously, depending on the job function, we test fabrications according to the styles that we create. You know, so some, for example, if you have a valet driver, we have wonderful fabrications that are going with the silhouettes that have UV protectant within it. You know, you have, let's say your culinary um we we provide product that doesn't have a certain amount of synthetics within the yarn because it it melts you know and so and all of that but the, we use industrial laundry when catering to some of these uh behind the scenes or behind back what we call back of the house uh job functions where we do sustainable um testing within the fabrication so it doesn't melt and it's you you Obviously, they get sold uh, soiled behind the scenes when they're doing, you know, grease and, you know, dirt. And so you want to make sure that it's sustainable within the laundering. Uh, uh, I would say that I want to get too technical, but the industrial laundry of it all, it doesn't break down. So we do testing within that. How are they washing it? How often are they washing it? It doesn't shrink. It doesn't fade. It doesn't bleed. All of these things are done behind the scenes before we roll anything out and within our product line. So there's a lot of thought process behind our garment and our fabrications that go along with it with fascinating along with fit, with fit you know definitely and you know that's fascinating in terms of las vegas specifically because you know uh sometimes with those temperatures these days you know you don't even have to it's not even so much uh, uh you know you're not even talking about flames or anything like that it's just literally the weather outside could you know exactly potentially melt some of these fabrics it seems like right <laughs> Right. And you know what, even the, like what, speaking of heat, you know, like there's a lot of moisture wicking fabrications that release all of this because at the end of the day, it's your image. Right. So the last thing you want is to look unprofessional in your garment and you want to become a, you seem approachable. Um, so all of those things are details within the fabric that keep you polished and keep you um, cool and keep you protected. And a lot of people don't really think about that, you know, because it, if it looks good, if it performs well, like it's, 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 it's a slam dunk, right? But there's a, so much homework that we do behind the scenes before our clients even know or understand that's all of, of the factors that we put in behind um, our team and, and, and testing and wear testing and fabric testing. There's just so much behind the scenes that we go before we put, we launch a product.
can imagine you know it sounds it, it sounds like a, a truly scientific craft and that that's before even you know the actual making and fitting of the garments you know it's just the the construction and materials are alone are, are very uh, scientific these days um i have one more for you thank you thank you again so much for joining me today i just have one more in the sense that um you know it's kind of like i to bring it full circle you know it's kind of like i alluded to at the beginning in the sense that You know, a uniform is a big part in a lot of ways to a brand, right? And, you know, a lot of, you know, um, they are the first kind of wave. It's the first contact that a lot of people have with the company is uh, the impression of, of a uniform. So, um, you know, as you uh, keep collaborating with companies and, you know, develop relationships, you know, how can how do you guys kind of manage that branding aspect of it in terms of, you know, brand continuity and making sure that things, you know, evolve, but also kind of stay in line with what what the company wants or what the what the company's brand is angled towards. So kind of what's that uh, collaboration like in terms of, of branding? Because as we know, you know, branding is essential to to any company, but really also, you know, these casino operators uh, are no exception to that. It's a really good question. Um, when we are involved, when working with a lot of our, our clients, is we're privy to all of the insides of where their ultimate image and goal is, right? So we get to see a lot of these uh, marketing tools that they build. They have teams that have already provided this image for us, right? They've created this, this vision of where they want to go. So Keeping that always in mind, and it's, it's again, it's part of the relationship that you 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 build with your client is understanding that this is their overall image and where they want to go, and you're constantly designing with that vision in mind. And it's it's listening, it's 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 keeping that relationship strong. It's also how do you incorporate that look throughout their uniform program. Right. So it's it's constantly working with their marketing team, their leadership uh, staff and trying to combine or constantly combining their vision in their. I would say I wouldn't say collection because it's not it's 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 not retail, but uh, their overall look and it, it just needs to marry their vision at all times. And it, 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 even if. sometimes within each space they kind of go awry and it's it's always reeling them back in to say like well this is the ultimate vision that was given are you going another direction or are we going to stay with the stamp you know the brand standard um and it's it's just it's just a speaking point to constantly keep going over to remind them that we are listening and we want them to be successful you know in their overall vision and their uniforms Certainly, certainly. Well, you know, as the old saying goes, if you look good, you know, you perform well. Uh, and obviously, Design Collective is very much in the business of making everyone look good uh, from top to bottom, from the uh, the C-suite on down to, you know, every level of a company. So, again, Joanna, thank you so much for joining me. This has been a very insightful conversation, hopefully for, for me, not just for me, but for also our viewership uh, as well. Um, thank you so much again. Thank you for joining us for the GGB Gaming Supplier Showcase, our exclusive look at the best products and services produced by vendors for the gaming, iGaming, and sports betting industries. For more information about the GGB Supplier Showcase, contact Terry Brady at tbrady at ggbmagazine.com.